Hi, crafty friends. So look at these cute little um, items from the Dollar Tree. So you guys, I'm gonna try the burning technique again for all of the edges. But first, let's take off that layer of the napkin here because we wanna get um, all the layers off of it because we just want the napkin to be Mod Podged onto that. Now, on that little welcome sign, there were two pieces that were kind of sticking up um, that I definitely didn't want them to be there. So I was like, okay, I'll just get those off there and pry them off and all the things. So now I'm gonna put a um, coat of white paint over the top of this. You can see that the napkins are really see-through and I didn't want the color of the wood to come through. I wanted it to be the white. Um, you know, some napkins aren't as see-through or ha are a little bit darker and you, you know, don't have to worry about painting it, but this one I felt like I really um, needed to. So you can see on this sign, there's lots of little parts where we would have to, um, you know, sand and all the things to get the edges. So that's why I thought the burn technique would be the best. So this is a sign from Dollar Tree that I've done a couple of other projects with. So now we're just going to paint the whole thing white. And you guys, we're gonna add some hooks to this so you could um, hang stuff from all of this. So I think it's gonna be really cool in the end. But now that the paint's dry, we're gonna add uh, Mod Podge over the top of it. And once we get that all done, we'll put our napkin right over that. Now, I'll tell you, you guys, I have a hard time um, with patience and crafting, and I didn't let the Mod Podge, I thought it was all dry, um, but it wasn't. So that's why I think my burn technique didn't go as well as planned. Okay, but that's okay. We still worked through it. So um, once I got that all on there, then I did put another coat of the Mod Podge on the top just to make sure that all of my areas were um, super duper secure. So then I also cut that top part off and then just got out um, a lighter and um, made sure that I had my fan on in my room because, you know, well, I just want to make sure. Um, but before we do that, while it's still drying, I'm really going to sand these edges because I want these to be um, d nice and distressed. And and then the two um, indentions along the long part of the board, I even sanded in there as well. Um, I just thought that would add just a little bit more to it. So I just kind of smooshed it all in there. And then here are my hooks. I grabbed out these little smaller hooks and um, just did, I ended up doing three of them. I thought that would work out perfectly. So here we go. So again, I've got all the fan on and all the good things. Um, so I just kind of started at one end. Now it didn't get all of the little pieces on the first try, but that's okay. I just went back and just kind of worked through them. Now I will tell you, I don't think I'm a fan of this technique. I know a lot of people love this, but it kind of crisps up the edges a little bit more than I would like. Um, so just if you try it, just be super duper careful. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area. And um, I just, I don't know. It just wasn't a super big fan, but like I said, I know a lot of you are. So once this was all done and I went ahead and grabbed out a couple pieces of sandpaper and just really worked around some parts that it didn't get in as well, um, you know, that's okay. We tried it. We tried it. All right, so here's how this turned out. Look at the little hangers. I think this is just adorable. Adorable, adorable. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to follow the page for more.